This past weekend, we hosted the second of our modern ninja tactics seminars. This type of training is not what the usual traditional martial arts school provides. Modern weaponry and tactics are of particular interest to me, and I believe that if you're going to own or carry these tools, you should be very well trained in their use. Otherwise, you're a danger and a liability to yourself and those around you. Most people have a gross overestimation of their ability in a fight, and this is multiplied when you give them some sort of tool such as a gun or a knife. Through several incidences, I was motivated to seek out modern training, and these seminars are a result of these incidences. The first incident that I remember happened during one of the past mountain quests. I can't remember which year it was, but it was several years ago, and Anshu Hayes was discussing how we hold tradition in high regard where sometimes it may not serve us. He's even stated that several of his students are more loyal to his brand than he is. In his discussion, he stated that he believes if a historical ninja from feudal Japan was magically transported to modern times, they would be quick adopters of modern technology. A piece of equipment that could give you an aerial view of just about any location on the planet. Weaponry that could quickly and reliably take out several enemy combatants from great distances. Pants with six pockets, yes please. Why would someone reject a powerful tool that could give them a strong advantage in their endeavors? In fact, ninja were some of the early adopters of firearms as weaponry in Japan. The next push that I received happened during a ninja festival in Ohio several years ago. I was speaking with Anshu at a post-training celebration and the topic of injuries came up in our discussion. As I went through my various injuries at the time, he jokingly made a suggestion that I take up another martial art and he made a gun sign with his hand. You know, with his thumb sticking up and index finger sticking out, moving his hand like he had just fired it around. I felt that it was just a joke, but with a ninja as a mentor, I started to explore it just in case he was testing me. To add a significant injury to my list, I tore my ACL in my knee about seven years ago. I went from feeling pretty tough and almost indestructible to being scared of a toddler bumping into me. The doctor or physical therapist who was working with me post-surgery told me that at a point, my new graft in my knee was going to have the integrity of a wet paper towel. And that freaked me out to the point that I was anxious about being out in public and scared of whenever my knee made any kind of sound. I couldn't train taijutsu or jujitsu the way that I wanted. I couldn't even work out the way that I liked. I needed to do something to make me feel like I was training, making progress, and developing some sort of usable skill. At that point, I really started to shoot. I started studying marksmanship and handgun techniques. At one point early in my Toshindo training, I was told that to progress to six degree, the policy was that I was going to need to bring something new to the art and share it with my friends. Honestly, this was one of my favorite things about my teacher. It's not uncommon for high ranking martial artists to stay stagnant after a point, and here he was encouraging continual development in Toshindo and explore other martial arts. I had been training in jujitsu for a long time and I felt that everybody expected me to focus on that as my contribution, but I felt that was too predictable of a choice, plus our art already has so much jujitsu in it through its influences from Takagi Yoshinryu and Shinden Fudoryu, and I wanted to follow in my teacher's footsteps and bring our art into current applicability. The techniques of modern firearms handling are as much an art as traditional Japanese sword work and far more practical, so why not? Toshindo is a modern approach to the martial arts styles of some particular historical Japanese family system. As a practical matter, we practice our arts defenses against attacks that we see commonly in our contemporary society. But our weapons training still happens to be largely classical. We do practice some handgun disarms during one of our levels, but we spend a lot of time using classical Japanese swords, six foot staff, and even a spear. There are lots of benefits to training with and against a large variety and lengths of weapons, but we are more likely to have a knife or firearm be part of our altercation that we may participate in rather than a sword, though it has happened. 
If a sword was the most prominent primary weapon system during feudal Japanese history, the pistol is now for people not on the military battlefield. To stay true to our charge of bringing our art up to current conditions, we need to be skillful utilizing modern weaponry. The concepts and principles of Taijutsu movement and Toshindo are timeless. Leverage is leverage. Timing is timing. Awareness and sensitivity will never not be needed. The Modern Ninja Tactics Seminar is part of my attempt to bring the timeless and timely together. If you own or carry a firearm, please train with it very regularly and very responsibly. Strive to know the condition of your weapon at all times and please always treat it as if it's loaded. Keep your finger off of your trigger until you're ready to shoot. By extension, please carry your firearm in a very good and secure holster that covers the entire trigger area. Always keep your firearm pointed in a safe direction. When shooting, be aware of your target and what's beyond it. All of the training tools in this workshop were non-functional, non-firing training handguns and non-edged training knives. Please use the proper and safe equipment when you're training. Most importantly, please keep all of your firearms secured so that a child or an unauthorized person cannot access it.